after I did the video on this trailer, I got quite a few emails from viewers who are looking to buy a dump trailer, and they asked me why I specifically went with a Texas Pride trailer over some of the other brands that are out there like Diamond C or PJ or Big Tex or several of the others. And I told them I really liked the sales experience. I liked the fact that, you know, before they even knew I had a YouTube channel when I was simply shopping for a trailer, the sales staff was very, um, I guess they were observant of what I was trying to accomplish, what I was looking for, that I wanted an overbuilt trailer with a lower gross vehicle weight rating and that was lightened in the areas that it could be lightened without, of course, compromising safety or rigidity of the trailer. So they took off small things, again, like the back jacks because I really didn't need them and they did add some significant weight. The uh, stake post holders here that I also didn't need are the stake pockets, which I didn't need because I got the, the side that flares out and gives me extra width inside. Um, they gave me the really nice uh, spreading back door, which is nice, the spreader, the aluminum ramps. They gave me things that addressed my needs. Plus, they had the ability to get the wheels to match the truck. So I got the Alcoa aluminum wheels and the J-rated 18-ply tires plus the 9,000 pound axles. So I got all the things that I was looking for, but at a price that was significantly less than the dealerships that I was shopping. All the dealerships that I was shopping, they had prices all over the place. Just like when you're buying an RV and you go to one place and the exact same RV is $15,000 less or $8,000 less or $9,000 more. And to me, that just frustrates me. It frustrates me when I'm shopping for something. And I like the fact that right off the bat, Texas Pride, they put this whole package together. They told me how much it could cost. And then they basically said, this is what we want to sell it to you for. And to get this trailer equipped the way I got it with the much better telescopic front ram, you know, the wider sides, the much thicker gauge steel, the fact that this is seven gauge steel, not the standard 10 gauge steel. Again, Alcoa wheels, 18 ply tires, and to customize it like this and to be able to get this trailer for under $11,000 just blew me away. Seven by 14 foot blew me away. I just couldn't find anybody else who even came close. The closest competitors had some 14,000 pound trailers or some, some of them went up to 18,000 pounds, but they were kind of stripped down and they were so commercialized in terms of, you could simply tell it was a mass produced trailer. It had been sitting on their lot for who knows how long. It had the minimum axles to meet the gross vehicle weight rating on the sticker. It had the minimum tires. It had either a dual ram or a scissor lift. And I didn't want that. I wanted the uh, telescope arm up front. Um, you had to pay extra for other features and they couldn't take anything off of it because it was essentially a dealership unit. So they just got what they got. In the case of Texas Pride, they really listened to my concerns on the phone. Um, the salesperson, I was fortunate enough because I told them, you know, I'm going to shoot a video on this thing when I'm done, that they did this customization for me. They asked for my logo and they, they were able to do that. That was a pure surprise to me when they pulled up and I saw that. So that was really cool of them. And not only that, they sent the salesperson down with it. So I was able to actually get, get the person who walked me through all the specs to go over the trailer with me. And that was awesome. Um, the other big upgrade on this was I got the wireless remote too, which is cool. So if you are in the vehicle and you need to lift it up so you can use your spreader, it gives you the ability to do that, plus the tarping system, which I think I already mentioned. And real quick, check that out. Isn't that cool that you can actually order this unit with a solar panel on it to trickle charge the two deep cycle batteries inside of it? So when it's sitting out here and the sun's not at such an extreme angle, this will make sure that your batteries are topped off and you don't come back to a trailer that needs to have batteries charged before you can use it. So that is really cool. And this is something that you're going to want to dust off if you use this in a really dusty environment, a caliche environment, you know, sand, whatever, any type of debris that gets on here, just make sure you wipe this thing down with a clean cloth just so it gets as much sunlight as possible and passes the right amount of current to actually charge your batteries. Anyways, guys, that's the reason why I went with Texas Pride. There was no gimmicks involved. It wasn't trying to oversell me on a feature here or there. And oftentimes, some of those features you're being oversold on from a salesperson at a dealership and not the manufacturer. And they may not even really know why they're pitching that specific thing other than the fact that they think it sounds right. But from an engineering perspective, they may not even know why something is put where or why they put something in some other spot. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with you because I did get quite a few emails from folks 
folks that simply wanted to know why did I go with Texas Pride? The first video was fine, but there was a salesperson there and they wanted to see what my personal opinion was. I'm very happy with the product. I am very, very much looking forward to using it. Um, we literally just got it here to the storage facility, so I haven't had a chance to use it yet. And I wanted to make sure it's secure, so that's why we put the locks on the front of it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.